Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Miss Kitty Kim Vlogs. Ang video po na ay papakita ko po sa inyo ay ang State Luncheon sa Destana, Singapore. Ang susunod na video po ay ang full speech po ng ating mahal na Pangulo sa State Luncheon. Your Excellency, Madam President Halima Yaakob, Mr. Mohamed Abdullah Al-Bahashi, Ministers and Officials from the Republic of Singapore, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon. At the outset, I would like to give my thanks to all the members of the Singaporean government and, of course, also the people of Singapore for the kindnesses that you have shown us in this brief visit that we have come uh, this time to Singapore. And once again, it uh, attests to the long-standing relationship between our two peoples. When I received the invitation to undertake a state visit to Singapore. A fellow ASEAN founding member and one of our closest and oldest friends in the region, I did not hesitate. Our bilateral relations have grown from strength to strength over the years. And this, not sh this should not be a surprise because as uh, Madam President has mentioned, we are partners of long standing the official relationship between Singapore and the Philippines started in 1969. But the cultural, ethnic, and trade connections have gone back perhaps many millennia. And uh, this, uh, again, this friendship has uh, manifested itself in unique ways. As uh, this morning, we were invited to the Botanical Gardens of Singapore, and my wife and I, the First Lady and I, were given the singular pleasure and honor of having an orchid named after us. I can, I can say... I can say that uh, uh, I have uh, been lucky to be a recipient of uh, many honors of uh, different uh, sorts around the world. But never have I had a beautiful, such a beautiful orchid named after myself and the First Lady. Thank you very much. <laughs> Singapore's developed economy, besides Singapore's developed economy presents a viable opportunity and has presented that opportunity for thousands of Filipinos, 200,000 now, who have chosen to make their lives in Singapore to the betterment of themselves, of their families, and also of the Philippines. It serves as a second home to them now, and uh, it is uh, my pleasure to be able to share with you the comments that I have heard from our Filipino nationals here in Singapore. And uh, they are, as a, as, a, as a group, I can say they are happy and content with their decision to come to Singapore to make their lives here with you. Because the Singaporeans have been open and warm in their relations with our Filipino workers here in, the Philippi in, in Singapore, and for that, once again, 
I thank the Singaporean government, and I thank the Singaporean people. As a strong partner at the bilateral and regional levels, the context of our larger ASEAN community, Singapore is certainly part of our journey. We see our future of the Philippines as being, as being, as having Singapore beside us, uh, forging ahead to the future. Uh, Singapore, uh, as part of our journey in maintaining political stability and economic prosperity in the region, we are one with you in proving to the world that the strength of a country is not in its size, but in the quality of the lives and the ties that it, that it forges with the members of the community of nations, guided by the tenets of sovereign equality and independence. On a historical and a slightly personal note, my relations with Prime Minister Lee have special historic resonance. I remember very well uh, that uh, in the discussions, I was uh, still a young, young boy, but uh, always uh, uh, listening and trying to, trying to uh, find out what was going on in my father's office. I remember listening to him uh, speaking on the telephone with then Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew and they were talking about the formation of ASEAN. And as uh, heads of their respective countries back then, they laid the groundwork for the ASEAN in 1967. What used to be a fledgling idea has now evolved into a dynamic and truly relevant ASEAN community. As a matter of fact, we can say that ASEAN has grown into the strongest, most viable political aggrupation in our region. We are therefore optimistic that Philippine-Singapore relations, both bilaterally and within, ASEAN, within the ASEAN context, will continue to grow and become even stronger in the years ahead. I look forward to closer ties and stronger ties between our two countries. Our candid exchange of views, constructive discussions, and the governments that were signed this morning have given us renewed optimism for an even brighter future. And so, on this, I invite you now to rise and to join me as we toast to the continued success and prosperity of the Republic of Singapore the enduring friendship between the Philippines and Singapore, spanning 53 years of strong and vibrant relations, and the continued good health of Her Excellency President Halima Yaakob and His Excellency Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long. Cheers, mabuhay po kayong lahat.